So here's how the typical dinner goes. So the night begins with the white ladies introducing themselves and conceding that they are the worst people in the world because they are white. Watch. I am a liberal white woman. We are absolutely the most dangerous women out there. We are the most dangerous women that exist because we're going to love a little more because we're good freaking people. No. We are erasing their experiences. We are erasing their lives. We are erasing the danger that they're in. I'm an artist and a barista, and I learned about this through Syra, through your Facebook. The reason I'm here is because I've always thought of myself as being like kind of woke. And I mean, you know, my best friend is Mexican. My partner is biracial. We have these conversations all the time. But then through following your posts and interacting on your posts, I realized I'm not doing that great. <laughs> and I feel like there's a racist white man living in my brain and it's my dad's voice. I hate my dad, of course. That's what it's all about on some level. But the best is white women, we're the most dangerous people in the world. So of course that's not true. The silliest people in the world, for sure. The most dangerous, hardly. Watch that, what, what do you think that means? What do you make of it? Well, I see a group of white women, probably in corporate America in some capacity, who are building up their resume for leadership positions. This is yeah. instead of, you know, some degree from some college or whatever, I set through this racial reprogramming and therefore I'm qualified for leadership. This is a rite of passage now in corporate America. And and it's it's you know, but at its foundation, Tucker, I've been arguing forever, all of this anti-white bigotry that we've been mainstreaming and normalizing is really just an excuse to uproot our Christian founding in this country.